Hey guys, that might give me back here with the video, guys. Welcome to us making some more coins. Now, a couple of limited time cards today coming out. I know we have um Deshaun Watson. We have a what was his name? Ooh. I'm on the top of my head right now. I don't know why I just randomly forgot the guy's name. He is let me see. Um is it a ta -ta -ta? Oh yeah, scary Terry. That's right. We got, we have literally another big time Washington football team card. I, guys, I think it might be time. It might be actual time to do it. Like looking at the Washington football team theme team right now, guys, it might be time to pull the trigger and just go for it. Like, bro. And this guy, all right, he said, try. I thought it was a stacked. Offensive line is still kind of sus when it comes to this Washington theme team. But now they got even a better scary Terry. They got Keenan Allen or Keenan Allen. Ke Keenan Mick. Mc I, I can't see the rest of his name. The rest of the name's cut off. But you guys know him right there. AP, Barry, and Sean Alexander. Which this isn't even the most up-to-date one. I've, I always click on the wrong one. I think I always click on the wrong one here. Washington team team. Here we go. Offensive line, like I said, is on point. I've got you, Trent Williams. Look, this guy's. It might be time. Like, they have an amazing theme team. Might be like a 98 <laughs> overall, in all honesty. I mean, gosh, dang, bro. EA. Do you want Washington theme team to be everyone's team? I'm surprised there's not more Washington theme teams out there. I mean, I play online all the time. I don't go against Washington theme teams all the time. I, I, honestly, I expected to at this rate with how many of these cards are out there and how many good players on Washington theme team, you think you would be playing against them every 10 seconds. Um, but surprisingly not. I mean, God. How many Washington theme teams players do they need to have? <laughs> oh, like I, I don't, they don't have it updated to like the best team possible. I was like the uh, be best overall as possible for each team. But if they did, I definitely think Washington theme team would be number one by far. By far. 49ers look good though. It is so many running backs, but 49ers do look good. I think the uh, Raiders should look good too though. Yeah, the Raiders should look really good because that's what I'm mocking right now. Raiders have, like, not really the best offensive line compared to the theme team. All right, well, like I said, absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy, crazy, crazy. Guys, tell me down below which theme team are you personally rocking. I'm rocking the Raiders. Well, not, not even Raiders theme team. I'm rocking the Raiders, like, just a lot of Raiders players. I'll, see, okay, so tell me this, guys. Tell me this. At what point is it a Raiders theme team or a theme team in general versus just rocking that team in general? Like just rocking players in that team. So I guess the theme team, I'm thinking on the top of my head, like what would an actual theme team be, right? And a theme team, I guess, would be theoretically speaking, you have to have a 50 at 50, right? Is that, is that kind of what it has? I mean, I guess that's what it has to be, right? You have to have 50 at 50 of the players for it to be a theme team. Because if you don't have 50 at 50, you're kind of just rocking some of the play. Like, I have tier, I think it's tier 8 of um, Raiders theme team. or well, Raiders chem. But I don't have enough, I don't think, to make it a theme team. And I'll say one thing. Dang, EA has, uh, like, freaking uh, killed the odds of these packs. As I say that, we put A3 overall. But I have really have not pulled that many elites this whole entire video right now. Like, this is actually pretty bad. This is actually pretty, pretty bad. So anyway, guys, let's talk about future stuff. And the future stuff, I mean, as you guys know, we talk about future stuff all the time in this, in this videos. But what I want to talk about today is going to be, will the market crash? And if it will, when will it crash? So we are obviously in the stunt of having a lot of content released at one time right now. A lot of stuff in the game right now all coming at one time. So if it will crash, when will the when will it crash the market? That kind of stuff. Okay, so let's talk about first off, we know a couple things won't crash the market, right? 
Super Bowl promo will not crash the market because it's literally going to add a lot of cards in the game, but it's not to a point where it's going to completely kill the market. Now, keep in mind, this is how the market is right now. And it'll probably will stay like this for a while. We have the top of the line market, right? We have like the top of the line cards like your LTs, your Deion Sanders, you know, those kind of cards that are really, really, really expensive because they're big names. And then everyone else who's not a big name has like their value is crap, right? And what we're seeing is that kind of is probably going to continue throughout the rest of Madden to a certain degree. Now we're going to get golden tickets. We're going to get ultimate legends and we're going to get all that kind of content later this year. Uh, actually ultimate legends starting next month, probably middle of next month is ultimate legends. <laughs> and what it comes down to is this, the market would never crash for the big, big boy cards like LTs, Sean Taylor's, those kind of cards, right? Players that people love, but for the rest of the cards, yeah. I think as more and more cards come out, the only thing they're going to do is continue to drop the market. The market is going to continue to go straight down as more and more content comes out and as more and more cards are released into the game. So what we're going to see is as more and more stuff's released in the game, um, you know, like the Super Bowl promo, the honors promo, every quarterback who isn't a Russell Wilson, Patrick Mahomes, Michael Vick, with the new Aaron Rodgers, is going to drop down in value. They're all going to tank in value. I mean, Deshaun Watson uh, and Kyler Murray is the other guy who a lot of people love. They're going to tank in value, though. Rich Gannon is going to tank in value once that Aaron Rodgers comes out. Because any card that isn't the top of the line, not top of the line as in just the fan favorite, also hard to get. Because, like, for example, you can get Rich Gannon right now. Not, it's not that hard to get. It's harder to get someone like Russ Wilson, you know, obviously max him out than to get someone like, you know, Rich Gannon. Now, Russell Wilson also has the value of he's a, he, there's a uh, pack in the store. You can open with training and always get him at a certain value, right? <laughs> like, for example, yes, 36,000 gets you or 39,000 gets you a random player. But if you want to, um, you know, get a, guaranteed Russell Wilson, boom, boom, kicker, Russell Wilson, you need to pay 46,000, which means 46,000, I believe comes out at a price tag of around 400,000 coins for 420 K, which keeps his price tag around that price tag because when I'm going to get Russell Wilson and let Russ cook is two things, the sets or the store. So we'll keep the value up there. Now, players like Rich Gannon, all the legends, they're easy to get. Therefore, their value will always be lower. Now, the second position players sometimes are harder to get, but for the most part, you can get those cards pretty easy. It's not too, too challenging to get those cards. So what we're going to see throughout the next couple months is a lot of cards are going to tank in value. And mainly cards are going to be <clears throat> cards that aren't the most fan favorite of people. And second off, those are harder to get cards. The harder to get cards will always tank in value first. And I don't think we're going to see a market crash per se completely like a, oh my God, all these cards go for nothing. The only way we're going to see that <clears throat> is if EA release fan favorite packs or a type of fan favorite pack like fire fantasy packs. I'm expecting, honestly, speaking wise, EA to release fan favorite packs or obviously fire fantasy packs. Probably around the time period of either golden tickets or maybe shortly after ultimate legends, just to kind of keep kill the value of cards. But at the same time though, you guys keep in mind is EA wants the market to say how it is. I said a million times, I'll say it again that, you know, this year EA really cares about theme teams and they're trying to support theme teams as much as possible because theme teams keep the market and keeps people pulling packs for the rest of the season. Because as long as theme teams are a thing, EA can release 93 overalls in August and people won't get mad because they'll be like, oh, 93 overall, that's great. I need him for my theme team, right? Rather than, you know, people be like, oh, wow, 93 overall, he won't even make the squad. Because back in the day, before Madden 21 was a thing, people used to have the best squad ever. Like my 98, people used to love getting 98s, 99 overall squads to a point where, you know, we're in, um, say, September, not September, sorry, 
were in like June, July, and everyone has a 99 overall. So they released a 93. Everyone's like, oh, what the hell? I want a 93 overall. This year, there will be June, and July, where we get a 92, 93 overalls, and there will be people who hate it, but a lot of people will be like, oh, yes. I needed that for my Cincinnati Bengals theme team. Thank you, EA, for releasing that 92 overall right end. I didn't have a 92 overall right end for my theme team. It's just how it works. It's just how it works. But guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions, guys. I love bouncing my ideas off you guys. So we kind of get a general gist of what's going on and what we are thinking. Uh, guys, like always, I say a million times, check out my second channel, uh, That Mike Gamer 2. We release the same content we do over here, over there. But plus more. So if you love the content over here, you're going to love the content over there. Also, guys, another thing, that channel is not monetized. So any content I make over there, I don't make any money off of. Uh, so any kind of support, meaning just subscribing and watching a video, I appreciate it. Uh, there's no ads over there either. So if you are interested in watching my content ad-free, That My Game of 2 has no ads on the videos, no nothing. It is free, free content. I mean, literally free content that is in. You can watch it unlimited and not have to worry about ads or anything like that. Not monetized. I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.